All right, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Happy Thursday. We got ourselves a early matinee stream because I'm going to see Guardians of the Galaxy later. So I uh, appreciate everybody hanging out as always. As always, I'm Ray Carcel. We're doing, we're reversing it today. So the first game is going to be on Twitch and TikTok. The second game will be exclusive to Twitch. So that's what we're going to do today, partially because I'm going to need my phone back. <laughs> Later this evening, make sure that none of the plans change. Because that's the other thing. The other reason why we're going extra early today is I'm going to meet my friends for dinner. We're going to go dinner. Guardians of the Galaxy. So, um, 9 o'clock showing here in LA. And it's just one of those things where... So, that's why I'm doing an early stream. So, thank you for hanging out. Thanks for showing up. Uh, the NL West leading San Diego Padres versus, of course, the AL East leading New York Yankees. You Darvish, Luis Severino should be a good one. Let's see, we got Gibby here on Twitch. The Tigers swept the Mets. Yeah, that's always a good thing. So, so again, a little different today. TikTok and Twitch will be together for the first game, and then the second game will be exclusive to Twitch, um, just so I can get my phone back. Um, Yankee bullpen, everybody, eh, probably even Holmes available. Um... Let's see, at least today, uh, no changes to the lineup, but we'll keep an eye on LeMahieu and Cabrera. Probably the next game will give them a day off, so. Yes, Matt, early stream today, as I was just, uh, I was just explaining, um, I'm going out to dinner with some friends after this, so we're doing just two games today, so 4.30 to 6.30 my time, then I'm going out to meet some friends for dinner, and then we're going to see Guardians of the Galaxy, so... Uh, that's why, uh, early stream also mixing it up, first game on TikTok and Twitch, and then, uh, second game will be exclusive to Twitch. Um, well, Gibby, I mean, I guess that's what happens when you have a lot of injuries. So, uh, appreciate everybody popping in over here on TikTok, and of course over here on Twitch as well. So, dancing between the raindrops, Severino versus Darvish. Should be a good one. Luis Severino is 11th start of the year, an 8-0 record, a 2-4 ERA, a whip just over one, and a 6-1 strikeout to walk ratio. Coming off the best start of his year, seven innings, two runs. Bogarts, 245 average, nine home runs, 28 RBIs. Actually, seven innings, three runs. Uh, best start of his year in terms of length. As uh, Bogarts takes a strike, 0-1. Oh, and, so, and we are underway here in the Bronx. Padres are 32 and 18. We are 43 and 9. And the 0-1 oh is a strike in the outside corner. Quickly, 0-2 oh to the former Red Sox. He's very familiar here in the Bronx, and he pops him up. Backdoor slider, shallow center. Bader coming on. Makes the catch, one away. We'll look now at the Padre lineup. We just saw Bogarts, followed by Jake Cronenworth and Juan Soto, Manny Machado, Matt Carpenter, the DH. I miss Matt Carpenter. Austin Nola behind the plate. Ha Sung ha Kim at second. Trent Grisham in right. And Esteban Floreal, former Yankee, in center field. So Cronenworth hitting 276. Eddie, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. First pitch to Cronenworth is a strike on one. Cronenworth, a two-time All-Star. Back-to-back All-Star. Oh, trying to tr three-peat this year. Takes a pitch off the plate. Count goes one and one. Evan, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. And now the one-one. Inside, two and one. Good eye there from Cronenworth on the cutter. Trying to jam him a bit. And now the two-one. Pop foul and out of play. And that levels the count at two and two. It'll be a 2-2 now from Severino. Grounded the first. Rizzo there. Takes it himself. Two quick outs here in the top half of the first inning. That'll bring up Juan Soto. Nine home runs, 30 RBI, a 307 average. This is what the Padres thought they were trading for last year. And this one chopped to the right side and through for a base hit. So Yankees are playing him a little extra to pull. And he finds the hole on the right side for a two-out single. Thank you, Mace. Much appreciated. I'll keep an eye on him, Joseph. Hopefully he doesn't do the same as... Speaking of, stepping to the plate, Manny Machado hitting 354. Swing and a miss on a fastball there. 0 oh, and 1. Machado, 13 home runs, 43 RBI, and a 13-game hitting streak coming into tonight's game, and he rolls a changeup foul 0 oh, and 2. Machado, of course, also familiar with Yankee Stadium from his days with a, as an Oriole. Chops a slider foul 0 oh, and 2. 
Gosselin, thank you for the follow. I'm playing Franchise JFR, yes. Um, Jared, I get it on Game Pass. Um, I'm enjoying it. If you haven't gotten it in a while, it's probably worth it. Check Swing did not go since the first base umpire, one and two. Gibby on Twitch. The AL East going back and forth. Yeah, everybody beating up on each other, Gibby. It's going to be a tight race the whole year. As that's off the plate, count goes two and two. The 2-2 two -two now to Machado. Ripped the third, but right at Peraza, and that will end the inning. So Padres leave a man on, and we go bottom one. No score in the Bronx. Darvish now making his 11th start of the year. A 4-1 record, a 2-9-4 ERA. A whip virtually at one. And about a four, almost a four to one strikeout to walk ratio. Thank you for the share, user. Bader, 11 home runs, 36 RBI, a 295 average, a former gold glove winner. Darvish, a cutter, a fastball, a slider, a sinker, and splitter. We know in real life he's got even more than that, but they can only fit five pitches in the game. Tops out at 97, and then will be the show 23. And Bader takes the first pitch and skies it to right center field. And the catch is made out there and right, one away. As we look now at the Yankees starting lineup. Bader followed by Peraza, Judge, Rizzo, Stanton, LeMahieu, Ozzy Cabrera in left. 13 for his last 36 is the highlight there. Jose Trevino back behind the plate after a day off. And Anthony Volpe batting ninth and playing short. 43-9, and nine, uh, Walker. I am a Yankees fan in real life, Andrew. Yes. Period. Thank you for the follow. Uh, the wind is blowing in today from right field. See if that affects anything. First pitch to Peraza, and he pops it straight up. Swung out a cutter. Peraza is 265, seven home runs, 24 RBI, I believe. Two away, though, here quickly in the bottom of the first. Thank you, Rossi. Much appreciated. He is, Jared. I believe he might have the day off, though. Aiden, thank you for the follow. 43-9, and nine, uh, Jones. And the first pitch to Judge is down and in, 1-0. Darvish looking for his 100th career win. Judge, 28 home runs, 55 RBI, a 409 average. Absolutely clobbering the ball this year. As that's off the plate, 2-0. Uh, what do you mean, no? I, I, I use strike zone 3, and this is what I prefer. As uh, This is a strike to Judge. The count goes 2-1. I'm playing as the Yankees, Jared. I'm playing against the Padres. The 2-1... Swing and a miss out in front of a slow cutter, two and two. Darvish took a little something off of that. It'll be a two-two now to judge, and that's off the plate. The count goes full with Rizzo on deck. So Nome, I really can't. Um, the three-two hammered on the left field line. This will slice foul. Here's the thing: if I move, if I if I move it more square on, you'll lose a lot of the peripherals. Uh, I hit on veteran pitch on Hall of Fame. The 3-2 again. This one ripped to left field and will be caught. What a diving grab out there and left. Oh, goodness gracious. Juan Soto lays out and belly flops in left field to rob Judge of extra bases. We go top two. At the end of one, no score in the Bronx. Lane, thank you for the follow. If you want, uh, I do Trent play sometimes Diamond Dynasty but uh, I don't usually stream it. If you really want a better view, twitch.tv slash Ray Carcillo, because we are on both. Matt Carpenter, former Yankee, former Cardinal, 264 average, seven home runs, 18 RBI. He had a career resurgence with the Yankees last year, and then Brian Cashman, one of the worst general managers in baseball, was like, we don't need a lefty bat at Yankee Stadium, even though he, after before he got hurt, he was absolutely destroying the ball. And so just like in real life, Carpenter having a very nice season. The 1-1. One, one. Chopped to the right side off the end of the bat. LeMahieu is there. We'll flip the first. One away. Austin Nola, three home runs, 17 RBI, a 266 average. And the first pitch from Seve. He's a strike at the belt. 0-1. Oh, don't, don't forget, folks. Likes, shares, follows. They all help. Check out my most recent videos on TikTok. Of course, join me over on Twitch.tv slash Ray Carcillo. 0-2 oh, now after that swing and a miss on a cutter by Nola. And this one grounded to Volpe again off the end of the bat. The rookie fires the first, two away. If I was, I've been in broadcasting for a long time, Torres, it just unfortunately, it's, uh, 
Well, it's hard to find consistent work. Uh, Jared, it's franchise mode. Franchise mode. Actually, well, I used to be in broadcasting. I'm now in video games, but I did I did used to be in broadcasting. Kim now hitting 236. Fouls off a fastball. 0 and 1. And now the 0 1 to Kim. Chopped to the right side. So three soft ground balls this inning for Severino. Strong throw from DJ. We go bottom two after a 1 2 3 top half of the second. Still no score in the Bronx. Jeffrey, thank you for the follow. No problem, Jared. Anthony Rizzo now, 347, 16 home runs, 36 RBI. Had a three-home run game in the series finale against the Orioles that helped propel the Yankees to a uh, series victory. They dropped the middle game of that set. And Rizzo's going to hammer this one to right center field. That's going to be a base hit. It's going to split the outfielders and go to the wall. Rizzo is not fleet of foot, but the throw from center field by Grisham is offline. And it is a leadoff double for the Yankee first baseman, his 11th of the year, as he continues his red hot hitting. And Giancarlo Stanton steps up to the plate with 18 homers, 42 RBI, and a 387 average. And Stanton, that's down the left field line. That's going to be a base hit. It's going to go into the corner. Soto's going to dig it out. His throw is going to come into second. And Stanton belly flops into second base with an RBI double. If Kim was paying attention, he would have seen that uh, Stanton was nowhere near the bag because he's just that slow. Like a turtle running through molasses. But Stanton finds himself at second base, and it's 1-0 Yankees. What's up, sports fan? No, it's a hitting on veteran, pitching on Hall of Fame. LeMayhew now chases a cutter off the plate, 0 and 1. So that's Stanton's 43rd RBI of the year. DJ, three home runs, 12 RBI to go with that 335 average. And the 0 1 to DJ fouls off a high cutter, 0 and 2. So back-to-back -back doubles to start off the bottom of the second. The Yankees are up 1-0 as LeMayhew chops a slider foul to stay alive. Still 0-2. And now the 0-2. Popped up. Right field. Fairly shallow. Catch is made. Stanton stays put. One away. Clinton, thank you for the follow. Ozzy Cabrera now 12 home runs, 25 RBI, an 11 game hitting streak coming into tonight. To go along with a 294 average. The first pitch from Darvish. He is a strike, 0 oh and 1. Good cutter comes back and clips the outside corner. Now the 0-1 to Cabrera. Tried to drop a high slider in there, but Cabrera fouls it back and out of play. 0-2, just missed it. It'll be an 0-2 to Cabrera. And rolls this one to the right side. Nice play there by the first baseman. Flips the Darvish covering. Stanton goes to third, but there's two away now here in the bottom of the second. Jose Trevino now four home runs, 13 RBI, a 272 average. Chance for a ribby here. And the first pitch to Jose is swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Good low slider. Bottom fell out of it. And the 0 1 inside. 1 and 1. And the 1-1, one, one. swing and a miss on a splitter, 1-2. and two. Swung right over the top of it. A little out in front. Stanton off a third, the 1-2. Chopped foul, Trevino out in front of it, still 1-2. and two. So Jose staying alive. Darvish economical, only at 22 pitches. The 1-2, that's off the plate. Levels the count at 2-2. Two and two. All right, Anubis. He, 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 thank you for the follow. 
As that's off the plate and the count now full. Yes, thank you, Sean. Much appreciated. So the count now full to Trevino, the 3 2. Hammered down the left field line, but we'll do it again as it slices foul. Jose out in front of that cutter. And this will be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Uh, Ping, thank you for the follow. The 3 2, right down the middle. Jose, though, just missed it. Pops it up to shallow right center. What a play by Grisham. That really thought it might, that really hung up more than I thought it would. It almost dropped in, but the Yankees do score a run. Stanton with a double down the line gives the Yankees a 1 0 lead as we go top three. Trent Grisham, no home runs, nine RBI, a two time gold glove winner, hitting a buck 55. Will lead off here in the top of the third against Severino. He takes a high strike, 0-1. 43-9, Anubis. 43-9. Now the cutter inside, 1-1. One one. And now this one chopped to the right side. Severino, a lot of ground ball outs today. LeMay, you has to hustle. Grisham, Grisham runs very well, but DJ gets him one away. And now that brings up former Yankee Farmham farm hand Estevan Florial he might have been a ham too but I'm not sure hitting 333 on the year no home runs no RBI waiver wire pickup takes a strike 0 and 1 I wonder maybe he's maybe this is only he's maybe he's one for three <laughs> and this one popped up to shallow center Bader coming on makes the catch two away thank you for the share thank you for the follow money I'm also a Knicks fan Brandon can't wait for Saturday let's go Knicks Xander Bogarts flew out to shallow center in his first at-bat, so he's 0 for 1. And he hammers a pitch foul right down the middle. Severino got away with a mistake, 0 and 1. Bogarts leads the National League with five triples. That's a fun stat as he chases a cutter off the plate, 0 and 2. Shmoney, thank you for the follow. Anubis, thank you for the share. And this chopped foul will do it again. Still 0-2. The 0-2 to Bogarts. He is low, 1-2. Trying to get him to chase the changeup. And this one skied the left. Cabrera is there. Settles under it, makes the catch, and we go bottom three. Still 1-0 Yankees. Back-to-back -back doubles by Rizzo and Stanton is how he scores money. Milkman, thank you for the share. Thank you for the follow as well. So back-to-back -back doubles. Rizzo doubled, then Stanton doubled. Anthony Volpe, 13 home runs, 20 RBI, a 323 average. Really holding it down in the nine hole for the Yankees. Uh, no, he's in right. And this one hammered to left. Fairly deep, but playable. Catches made by Soto, one away. Uh, pitch on Hall of Fame, hit on veteran. Harrison Bader now. He's 0 for 1 with a fly out. Judge was robbed of a hit by Soto on a diving play. Savant, thank you for the follow. As uh, Bader takes a pitch inside 1 and 0. Bader, again, a lot of this was with he when he was with St. Louis, obviously. 0 for 11 against Darvish in his career with four strikeouts. Takes a pitch high now, 2 and 0. Only the 30th pitch of the day from Darvish. He's rolled over to the left side, out in front of a cutter. Strong throw from Bogarts in time, two away. And now that brings up Oswald Peraza, who's 0 for 1. He popped out the third in his first half bat. Uh, we're at, towards the end of May, user. We're like two or three weeks ahead of real life. As this one sliced foul, Peraza late on the fastball. That was the pitch to hit. Talk about a mistake, middle, middle. But it's 0 and 1. Darvish got away with one. Scary, thank you for the follow. The 0-1. Check swing, but it's a strike at the knees anyway. 0-2. Peraza has a 14-game hitting streak coming into tonight. And the 0-2. Rolled over to third. Soft roller. Deep in the hole. Strong throw. Just got the speedy Peraza by a stride. And the Yankees go in order. Nice play by Machado. We go top four. Still up 1-0. We're in first. I am playing Bailey. It's a franchise, though. A Adrian, thank you for the follow. No, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. Jake Cronenworth 0 for 1. Will lead off the top of the fourth. 
And he chops a fastball foul, 0-1. And now slices a cutter foul, 0-2. He's batting thirds, money, yeah. Because, user, it's easier for me to commentate and play and on and talk with on Twitch and TikTok without the PCI. And another ground ball. This one hit the LeMay. He was getting his assists in today. An easy throw to first, one away. Thank you, ball player. Much appreciated. Thank you, Chris. Much appreciated. TY, TY, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Sorry, Bailey. Brandon, thank you for the follow. Thank you guys so much. Money, thank you for the compliment. Juan Soto, one for one with a single. Ooh, pitch called a ball. And uh, one and oh now. That was definitely at the knees, however. Now Soto swings through a cutter right over the heart of the plate, one and one. Severino gets away with another mistake. I'm doing all right. How are you? This one chopped foul, one and two. Mula, thank you for the share. I wish I was an MLB commentator. <laughs> Take care, Bailey. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. The one, two. Chopped foul. We'll do it again as Soto stays alive. It'll be another one, two from Severino. And another foul ball from Soto. I missed your question, Yandel. Can you repeat it? The, 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 the chat was scrolling too quickly. <laughs> the one, two. Another foul ball, still one and two. Swing and a miss, finally got him on a changeup. Got him out in front, two away. Sure, Dylan, we can do that after the stream tonight. My whole life, Chris, my whole life. Um, probably Yandel, whoever's in, whoever's in the game, if you're talking about the World Baseball Classic, I'm sure there are guys there from Puerto Rico, as there's a strike on one, but in terms of franchise, no. I'm playing as the Yankees, Roman. Yeah, there's no specific mode for it, right? And you can put together in your Diamond Dynasty some of the players. Is this chop follow in two? Maybe my 99 Ricky Henderson, Dylan, the Charisma card. Brad, thank you for the share and the follow. As this one rolled foul, still 0-2. Uh, because the game was not updated with his new number when I started the franchise. That's Chop to LeMay. He'll, he'll go to first. Another 1-2-3 inning for Severino. We go bottom four. Still 1-0 Yankees. So, and, and the thing is, Shmoney, he's been hitting the ball so well as number 77. I don't want to change him now. <laughs> I pitch on Hall of Fame, hit on veteran, Roman. Aaron Judge, 0 for 1, robbed of a hit by a uh, diving play in Soto in le by Soto and left. Checks his swing, but went around, says the umpire, 0 and 1. 43 and 9, Carson. Is this one going to miss, though, and 2? Usually, so I live on the West Coast now, and this is an early start because, for me, because I'm going to see Guardians of the Galaxy later tonight with my friends. As Judge gets a hanger and hammers it to center field, that's a leadoff base hit. So a mistake from Darvish as he hung the slider. Yeah, me too, Shmoney, me too. And that brings up Anthony Rizzo, one for one with a double and a run scored. Uh, in franchise, about an hour, as Rizzo fouls off a high cutter, 0-1. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good, Shmoney. <laughs> you know what it is? I had one really long winning streak to start the year, and then things have normalized. This is grounded to first, the feed to second for one, back to first, a 3-6-3 three, three double play. Just what the doctor ordered. Nicely started there by Cronenworth. And Rizzo not fleet of foot. So Jake knew he had time with bad speed on the bases. I mean, it's unbelievable, Ferd. Absolutely unbelievable. Swing and a miss. Stanton just misses an inside slider 0-1. Stanton had an RBI double in his first at bat. That's the only run of the game right now. King. I traded Loisaga. <laughs> Thank you, Roman. Much appreciated. The 0-1... 
And Stanton hammers one to fairly deep left. Soto back at the track. Leaps. It's gone. Goodbye, baseball. Giancarlo Stanton, his 19th home run of the year. A wall scraper, but it counts all the same. And it's 2-0 Yankees. Stanton's 44th RBI of the year cut through the wind again the wind blowing in today at the stadium but Stanton doesn't care as he blasts one into the first row and left 351 only 91 off the bat but the Yankees will take it and the 2-0 lead uh, Robert, actually I traded him to the Padres for Robert Suarez another reliever who I've pitched much better with as DeLemay, who swings and misses there, 0-1. So Stanton, all the offense today, a double, an RBI double and a solo home run now. And the 0-1 to DJ, late on that fastball at 96, 0-2 as he fouls it off. Yeah, I thought so, Shmoney, right? Like, especially, I was not pitching well with Loisaga. I just felt like I was hanging, like, every breaking pitch with him. Ah, uh, I think I I think Severino's doing fine. The one two off the plate count now two and two to Lemayhew. As this one inside out to the right side, Kim is there, flips the first, and that will end the inning. Which which pop are you talking about? Rizard Rizard, thank you for the follow. At the end of four here in the Bronx, it's 2 nothing Yankees. Eh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, he's going he's to have one hit the whole game, Shmoney, so. Yeah, Mike, I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. Give him the eighth and the ninth, honestly, as Matt Carpenter takes a strike 0-1. Oh, uh, that's Reaper from Overwatch. That's Reaper from, from Overwatch, Roman. That was a birthday gift. Birthday gift from a friend, because he's my he's my he was my Overwatch main. As this is up the middle by a diving Volpe, and that's the second hit of the day for the Padres. As Carpenter with a shift beating single to the right side, and San Diego has the leadoff man on as Austin Nola steps to the plate, swing and a miss on a fastball 0 and one. Not yet. I have not played the Tigers yet. No, thank you, Roman. And this one sky to right center field. That's going to be a base hit. This is going to split the outfielders and go to the wall. Bader will field against the track. They're going to wave home Carpenter. Here's the relay. It is not in time. Matty Carp sl slides home and scores from first. It's Nola's third double of the year. And Severino, who'd been cruising the whole game, suddenly it gives up a run. And we got a whole new ball game. It's only 2-1 Yankees in the fifth. First year, Roman, first year. Kim now the second baseman. So now the Padres can tie it on outs. And never mind tying it. Goodbye, baseball. Kim homers the deep left field. His third of the year. And the Padres suddenly strike with a three-run fifth inning. And it's 3-2 San Diego. Severino had been cruising along, and then former Yankee Matt Carpenter gets the hit, the base hit, and then Nola a double, and then Kim. Yeah, that's a middle middle fastball. Severino misses his spot again. 379 to left, 101 off the bat. Trent Grisham now up. Takes a pitch high, 1 0. I saw the graphic, Roman. I'm playing the CPU, Dalton, yes. The 1 0 to Grisham. There's a strike on the inside part of the plate, 1 and 1. And now that's off the plate, 2 and 1. No, Goat, so the, 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 I will be switching. The second game will be exclusively to Twitch. I'm mixing it up today. Is this one ripped foul, 2 and 2? Norma, thank you for, for, thank you for joining. And uh, not yet, one. Not yet. Let's go, Yanks. Yes, Dalton. Let's go, Yankees. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. One away. 
And that brings up Estevan Florial, who flied out to center in his first at-bat. Now one for four on it this season. Swings to a fastball 0-1. Jack, thank you for the follow. It's same as my every other... It's, my social is all the same. It's twitch.com... Twitch.tv slash Ray Carcillo. So all my socials is just Ray Carcillo. Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. As this is chopped back towards the mound. Sevy will field. Flip to Rizzo. Two away. Baseball card. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Sevy's only at 59 pitches. This will be number 60. And there's a strike to Bogarts. 0-1. Thank you, Smiley Face, for the follow. Is this one punched foul? 0 2. We got, let's see, we got but Buddy just joined us on Twitch. Thank you for the follow, Buddy. And that's chopped foul. Still 0 and 2. 28, go 28. Pitching on Hall of Fame, hitting on Veteran. The 0 2. Chopped foul. We'll do it again. Still 0 and 2. Vroom, thank you for the follow. Swing and a miss, pull a fastball by him to end the inning. But the Padres get three straight hits. A single from Carpenter, a double from Nola, and then a home run from Kim. We go bottom five. Yankees now down three to two. Ozzy Cabrera grounded out in his first at bat. He'll now lead off here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch to Ozzy. Swing and a miss out in front on a cutter, 0-1. Cabrera, 13 for his last 36. That's a 361 average. He has been on a roll in this 11-game hitting streak. Chases a bad sinker there, though, 0-2. The 0-2 to Cabrera. Pop foul and out of play, and we'll do it again. I am batting, yes. You guys don't understand, I'm looking at the TV and Twitch and TikTok all at the same time. What's up, Torres? How's it going? No, uh, no, bro, just because of the same, the same thing. Like I just said, I'm looking at, because I'm looking at all the screens at once, and I'm kind of dividing my attention, to also do PCI, it's just too much. As Cabrera pops this up, foul ground, Wynn gets a hold of it, brings it back to Nola. He'll make the catch. One away. What's up, Stealthy? Welcome to Twitch. Thank you for the follow. Jesse, thank you for the share. Maddie, thank you for the compliment. And that brings up Jose Trevino, who flied out. Now, for those of you know, for don't know, if you're joining Twitch, there is a 10... You have to follow for, I think, 10 minutes before you can start commentating here. And the only reason for that is, is because uh, it deters uh, spammers. So, uh, fun little fact there. As you see there, you Darvish tied for the National League lead in complete games with two... The 0-1 to Jose. Fouled back out of play, 0-2. No, I'm, 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 I'm just going to stick with my Yankees. I, I've thought about it. Folks have asked for it, but it's Yankees all the way. Is this one served to right, but right at the right fielder, two away. So Grisham, actually, I'm sorry, that's Florial. That's Florial's been in center. Grisham's been in right tonight. My apologies. I've been saying Grisham in center just because I'm used to him doing that in real life. Anthony Volpe, 0 for 1. Yellow Jacket, thank you for the follow here on Twitch. Much appreciated. And Volpe fouls off a high cutter, 0-1. Rachel, thank you for the follow. Uh, I do play Diamond Dynasty, Biggie, but I don't stream it because I, I like to concentrate and I can't do the commentary um, because of that. So as Volpe hammers this to left center field, that's going to be a base hit. And it's going to roll all the way to the wall. Soto will dig it up against the scoreboard, and Volpe has a two-out double. His sixth double of the year. Oh, nice, Roman. Well, welcome. Welcome to... I appreciate that. Yeah, I, the thing is, again, I, Volpe's been hitting so well with 77, I don't want to change it. <laughs> I don't want to jinx him. Bader now 0 for 2 has flied out and grounded out. Chase is a bad cutter, 0-1. Looking to ambush that first pitch. What's up, Riley? How's it going? Jack, thank you for the follow. And now the 0-1. Inside, 1-1. One one. Looking for that first pitch mistake, but didn't get it. It'll be a 1-1 now to Bader. Fouls off a sinker, 1-2. Thank you, Water. Much appreciated. 
It's MLB The Show 23. For whatever reason, it's not on Twi uh, TikTok. Doing all right, Riley. Doing all right. The one, two. Hammered to left center field. And that's going to be a base hit. Volpe's being waved home. And the Yankees answer the Padres right back. We are tied at three. A two-out double by Volpe and a base hit by Bader. And we got a whole new ball game here in the fifth. Peraza now up at the plate. And there goes Bader. The pitch chopped foul. A little hit and run action there for the Yankees. Bader didn't get a great jump, and so Peraza trying to protect them a little bit. I use veteran, Brandon. Hit on veteran, pitch on Hall of Fame. Brocato, thank you for the follow here on Twitch. Another check over on Bader. Ooh, almost got him that time. And again, Bader slides back. Really wish we had that limit here in MLB The Show 23. Wow, that's the first time I've seen them do it four in a row. Five in a row. All right, if he does it one more time, I'm not going to... Uh... Yeah, seriously, Water. Well, I mean, Bader does have 18 steals already on the year, which is second in the American League. There he goes. Much better jump. The pitch is a strike. The throw down, not in time. Make it 19 steals for Bader. Although it's an 0-2 now to Peraza. But now the go-ahead run is in scoring position. It'll be an 0-2 to Peraza. Looking to extend that hitting streak of his. Smacks this one fouled on the right field line. Stays alive. Still 0-2. And the 0-2. Pop foul and out of play. We'll do it again. Darvish living, trying to live on the outside of the strike zone. And the 0-2. Skied to right. Deep but playable. Grisham is there. Makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. But the Yankees answer right back and retie the game. Harrison Bader, an RBI single, his 37th ribby of the year. We go top six, tied at three. Sure, Torres, I played it, yeah. Uh, skills for the game, like, even, well, coding. I would definitely say coding, organizational skills, for sure, Roman. Like, I'd love to be a producer on the game. Jake Cronenworth, 0 for 2. Pair of ground outs. Takes a strike on the outside edge. 0-1. Cronenworth tied for the National League, League lead in walks. Takes a cutter low. 1-1. One one. And now this one popped up to shallow right. Judge coming on. Makes the catch. One away. And that brings up Juan Soto who singled in his first at-bat. He's 1-2. for two. He's also struck out. And skies this one to left. Because of the shift, long run for Cabrera. In the corner, makes the catch two away. Oh, definitely my hitting, Roman. Definitely. I am. I, my timing is not great. I admit that. I have mul multiple consoles, Trent, but I play the show on Xbox. Thank you, DY DYL. Thank you. Manny Machado 0 for 2 now. Severino at only 68 pitches. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Oh, and there's another quick strike, 0-2. Oh, the 0-2, oh, chopped foul by Machado. Wasn't the best slider from Seve. And we'll do it again, the 0-2. Oh, this one rolled to the left side. Peraza charges, fields, fires, got him. And it's a 1-2-3 sixth for Severino. We go bottom six. Yankees and Padres tied at three. What's up, Christian? Christian popping in here on Twitch. Aaron Judge one for two with a single today. Also robbed of a hit by Juan Soto. You know, 550, I got it because it's on Game Pass. As this chop foul 0-1. <laughs> I 
No, Trent, I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna play anybody, but, uh, I, I play, I play Horizon. I also have the PSVR 2, so I play a lot of VR games. As Judge rips this on the left field line, foul 0-2. I'm doing all right, Christian, hanging in there. How are you, buddy? It'll be an 0-2 to the Judge. Check swing, did he go? No, says the first base umpire, 1-2. and two. Oh, well, that's sometimes you need that, Christian. That's all right. Nothing to apologize for. Swing and a miss on a low cutter. Strike three, one away. And that'll bring up Anthony Rizzo, one for two, with a double and a run scored today. 70th pitch of the day from Darvish. is fouled straight back. Just missed that cutter, 0-1. Yeah, DYL, same thing. It's Hall of Fame pitching, and as that's a strike at Denise 0 2, and my hitting is also veteran. It's the same thing. It'll be an 0 2 to Rizzo. Inside, 1 and 2. Rizzo has a double and hit into a double play today as he fouls off that fastball to stay alive. Still 1 and 2. The one two now to Riz is low. Two and two. Nobody beats the Riz. You guys are all probably too young to remember that there was a store called The Wiz. It was an electronic store and it was said nobody beats the Wiz. That was their motto. As that smacked the left field, that's a base hit. So that's why nobody beats the Riz. That's where that comes from. So Rizzo gets his second hit of the day. That brings up Stanton now, who has doubled. And had a solo home run, so he's two for two with two RBI. And he takes a pitch low, 1-0. and oh. I mean, I get it, 550. Man. I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't have gotten it if it wasn't on Game Pass every year. Like, I probably would go every other year, right? Like, but they did make some pretty significant changes this year. It was a backdoor cutter, clips the inside edge, 1-1. One and one. Steven Wilson and Drew Pomeranz now warming in the pen for the Padres. The 1-1 one, one off the plate, 2-1. Two and one. It'll be a 2-1 now to Stanton. Hammered on the left field line. That's going to be a base hit and goes into the corner. Soto there digs it out. Rizzo will go first to third. Stanton will stay at first. Probably could have gone to second. Didn't realize the throw was coming into third. But after almost getting thrown out in his first at bat. Holding Stanton to a single. Yes, Carter, first game. Yeah, it's in the rain, Survivor. But uh, also it's May, so it's probably not so bad. Uh, it's, it was all right, Christian. Got off to a, a rough start, but we're finishing strong. And that's going to do it for Darvish. Uh, because, Carter, I'm going out to dinner with friends tonight. And then we're going to see Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's why an early stream today. So Darvish goes five and two thirds. Gives up three. The two men on base. His responsibility. Seth Lugo making his 10th appearance of the year. Long relief specialist for the Padres. A one and three record. One save. A 4-7-1 ERA. So this is the first game. And then we'll do one more after this, Carter. And that's it. LeMayhew 0 for two. Smacks this on the right field line, and that is just foul. Just missed the chalk there on the right field line. No, Survivor, I, I usually go six or seven. And the 0-1, chalk to the right side, right at Cronenworth. He'll go to second for one, back to first, an inning-ending double play. And I'm sorry, my apologies, I thought there was two outs, there was only one. So, a 3-6-3, three, three, the second 3-6-3 three, three the Padres have turned tonight. Cronenworth really showing off the leather there at first. We go top seven, still tied at three. Matt Carpenter, one for two with a single and a run scored. And Robert Suarez, former Padre, starting to warm in the pen in case Sevy gets into any trouble. Uh... It's fair, so I'm going to probably, this will probably be his last inning as this one hammered to center. Bader there. Carpenter first pitch swinging. Bader makes the catch, one away. No, buddy, I'm, I'm kind of happy just playing as the Yankees. 
As Austin Nola, one for two, a double, an RBI, and a run scored. Takes a strike, 0 oh and 1. There's another strike, 0 oh and 2. Yeah, Christian, we'll see who they actually give him in a title match. Swing and a miss, got Nola to chase the outside slider. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, two away. As you see there, down and in, then paints the corner, and then got him to chase one. Now Kim up at the plate. Kim hit the the two run home run at the time gave the Padres the lead. He takes a strike. Oh and one. It was his third home run of the year. That's swung and a miss. Oh and two. So Survivor a call dedication is the next home run I hit. I not only do my call but I say dedicated and I say it to your name. So it's it's kind of a kind of a way to get a shout out here on uh, a very specific shout out here on on Twitch. Is that's chop foul from me. 80th pitch of the day for Severino. Skied the center fairly deep, but he jammed him just enough. Bader will make the catch. We get, are going to go bottom seven. Get up and stretch. Yankees and Padres tied at three here in the rain in the Bronx. Oswald Cabrera 0 for 2, a pop out and a ground out. Oh, didn't mean to go there. Uh, let's see, bullpen. And Suarez is going to sit down and with a couple of lefties due up. Good old Wandy Peralta is going to warm. And we're going to have Wandy pitch the eighth. So Wandy will come in for the eighth inning. Severino goes seven, gives up three. First pitch to Cabrera from Lugo is off the plate, 1-0. and oh. Lugo got out of a big jam in the sixth inning with a double play. Lugo, a curveball, fastball, slider, changeup pitcher. He hits 97 on the gun. The 1 0 to the Osman. Hammered to right, fairly deep. Grisham and Floreal back. It'll be Floreal in the alley to make the catch in right center, one away. Uh, I could, I could, Survivor, but I'm kind of fine. I, I'm probably kind of committed to Peralta. If he gets in any trouble, I'll get somebody else up, but. Um, as Ho you can have two guys warming at once. As Jose Trevino now 0 for 2. Takes a pitch off the plate, 1 and 0. First of two, uh, three games here in the Bronx between the Yankees and Padres. And of course, next year the Yankees will go to San Diego. So that's off the plate, 2 and 0. Uh, I am a Yankee fan, Jack. I am a Yankee fan. The 2-0 to Trevino. Had the game-winning hit in yesterday's game in real life. Pops this up to center field. Floreal is there. Two away. Then I bring up Anthony Volpe, who doubled in his last at-bat and scored the tying run on a Harrison Bader base hit. Nice, Jack. Well, you saw it. Well, it would have been better if uh, Boone never went to Holmes, but we all know Aaron Boone's a terrible manager. As Volpe grounds this by third, that's a base hit. Soto will cut it off and hold Volpe to a single. But the rookie picks up his second hit of the day, and now that brings up Bader. One for three with a double and an RBI. And also a stolen base, but he was stranded. He was left on base. First pitch to Bader is inside, 1-0. Oh. Bader now has 19 steals on the year. Volpe has four. He's four for eight. Not a great base stealer in the game as Bader late on this fastball fouls it off one and one. And it'll be a one one. Down and outside, two and one. Good take there by the Yankee center fielder. And the two one, skied the right, fairly deep, going back Grisham. He'll make the catch, and that will end the inning. Yeah, it's very good. Nowadays, especially Survivor, we go top eight. As we look around here at the Burger King Taco Bell Panda Express, somebody fan, somebody, please sponsor me fan cam. Tied at three. So neither starter will factor into the decision now. A battle of the bullpens. Wandy Peralta making his 16th appearance of the year. A 1-0 record. Seven holds and 17 and a third innings pitched. And Jose Azacar 
One home run, three RBI, a 175 average. Will come in and pinch hit for Gresham. So this way, a righty versus the lefty. He takes a strike on the outside edge. 0 and 1. Now this chop foul, 0 and 2. And now the 0-2 is outside, 1 and 2. Not a lot of folks in attendance here today, and no surprise, of course, with the weather. As that's fouled off, still 1 and 2. And another foul ball. And the 1-2 again. This one off the plate, 2-2. Two and two. Check swing, went around, couldn't resist the outside changeup. One away. And another pinch hitter now. Nelson Cruz will come in and pinch hit for Floreal. Six home runs, 25 RBI, a 258 average. And he takes a strike on the outside edge, 0-1. And now grounds this to the right side. And by LeMayhew, that's a base hit. So Nelson Cruz picks up a single. And Adam Engel comes in as a pinch runner. Very speedy outfielder. He'll also stay in the game and play center. Bogart's 0 for 3. And Robert Suarez starts to warm again for the Yankees. But it's also one of those things where... You don't get Bogarts. It's not the worst thing in the world because then you got two more lefties due up after him. Part of the reason why we also went to Wandy. Swing and a miss on a change by Bogarts. The count goes one and one. There goes the runner. The throw down the second is not in time. So Engel gets himself into scoring position. His third steal of the year. It'll be a 2-1 to Bogarts. In the dirt blocked by Trevino. And that's in the dirt. Oh, it gets away from Jose. Engel will advance 90 more feet. And now the Padres can take the lead on an out. The double play is in order with Bogarts at first. And Cronenworth at the plate. But no, obviously, that was not what Wandy wanted. As now this is sky to left. Cabrera's got a good arm. He'll make the catch. Tagging is Engel. The throw is offline. And that wild pitch. Comes back to haunt the Yankees. It's now 4-3 San Diego as Peralta gives up his first run of the year. Juan Soto now one for three with a single. And Soto hammers one to right center field. It is gone! Goodbye, baseball! Soto's 10th of the year. Peralta, who had been really automatic for most of the year, makes a mistake to Soto. And suddenly the Padres jump out to a 6-3 lead. As Machado takes a strike, 0-1. Check swing goes around, 0-2. That's low, 1-2. And what Machado hammers one to left center. Bader getting on his horse. Can't get there. It's one hop over the wall. And a ground rule double his 17th of the year. And it's one of those things where Peralta... It's just so many lefties in the lineup. I don't want to take Peralta out. Joey, thank you for the follow. There's a strike with the change to Carpenter. One and one. Swing and a miss on a sinker, one and two. Check swing, didn't go, says the umpire, two and two. And this one lined to Rizzo, and that mercifully ends the inning. But Juan Soto, really the big blow. A two-run bomb to right center. We go bottom eight. Yankees now down by three. Azakar stays in the game to play right field. And Engel will stay in the game to play center. So good use of the bench by the Padres as now Jonathan Loizaga, former Yankee, making his 14th appearance of the year. 11 holds, a 2-3-5 ERA and 15 and a third innings pitched. That's his numbers with the Padres, I believe. Peraza 0 for 3. Now Suarez will pitch the ninth, but it might be too little too late now. 
And swing and a miss. Nasty sinker from Loizaga. 0 and 1. Josh Hader and Drew Pomeranz warming up for the Padres. The 0 1 to Peraza is outside. 1 and 1. Peraza, seven home runs, 24 RBI. Last chance to extend his hitting streak. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss on a slurve, one and two. And the 1-2. Check swing, did he go? Yes, says the first base umpire, one away. So that is how Peraza's hitting streak will likely end. Unless the Yankees bat around, have a big inning. Aaron Judge, one for three with a single, a strikeout, and a line out to left. First pitch to Judge is off the plate, 1-0. Oh. Actually, for those numbers, I don't think... Well, Weizaga means probably hasn't given up a run since we traded him. Wow. The 1-0, Judge late on it. Power sinker at 98, fouls it off 1-1. One one. Right down the middle, but just a little late on... But, well, I was late on the reaction. The 1-1. One one. Chopped foul to the right side, 1-2. One and two. Don't forget, if you have a Prime subscription and a free sub to give, I'd be happy to take it. <laughs> the 1-2... Judge out in front of it, rolls it to Machado at third, flips the first, two away. That was the pitch to hit. That slur. That brings up Rizzo now, two for three, a double, a single, a run scored. And again, uh, Robert Suarez, who's going to come in and pitch the ninth for us. And Rizzo hammers a slur foul, 0 oh and 1. The 0-1, smack down the right field line, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. As a car will cut it off and fire in, but it's another single for Rizzo, his third hit of the day. And that'll bring up Giancarlo Stanton, who's 3-for-3, three three, a triple shy of the cycle. Highly unlikely he's going to get it, but we'll see what happens here. As that's off the plate, and it's going to get by Nola. Rizzo will advance to second on the wild pitch. So, still unlikely Rizzo would score on a single, but... As Stanton hammers one to right center field, and deep as a car back, makes the catch on the warning track. Again, the wind is blowing in today. And that might have kept that ball from flying out of here. We go top nine, down by three. It's the Padres again, Stealthy. Austin Nola, one for three, a double and RBI, a run scored. And Robert Suarez now will come in to face his old team, his 17th appearance of the year, a 1-0 record. Austin Nola, 1-3, for three, a double, an RBI, a run score. Takes a strike, 0-1. Oh, so as it is right now, Lugo would get the win, improve to 2-3. Peralta would get the loss, drop to 1-1. One that's fouled off one and two by Austin Nola. But who knows if the Yankees have a comeback in their bones as that's off the plate, two and two. And that's chopped foul, still two and two as uh, Nola making Suarez work. Swing and a miss on an inside fastball, one away. And now Kim, his third home run of the year, now up to 18 RBI. The time made it three, two Padres. Takes one low, one and oh. Yankees would tie it in the bottom half of that inning as he pops this up to Judge. But a big eighth inning, or yeah, eighth inning for the Padres has made it 6-3 as Judge makes the catch two away. And that brings up Azakar, who struck out in his first at-bat. He pinch hit against Peralta. And now the 0-1. He's low and outside, 1-1. One one. Brought in Peralta to face the lefties. Two righties pinch hit. Is this one smacked foul, 1-2. And now the one, two, swing and a miss on a curve, strike three. Very nice inning for Suarez. Yankees though, down by three. It'll be the six, seven, eight hitters, LeMahieu, Cabrera, and Trevino. 
Meanwhile, in comes Josh Hader, a three-time reliever of the year, his 24th appearance, an 0-2 record, 21 saves and 23 opportunities, a 2-1-8 ERA. LeMayhew, 0 for 3 today, grounded out into grounded into a double play, his last at bat. Hader, fastball, slider, changeup. He can hit 102 on the gun. The first pitch is outside, 1-0. Of course, though, this also helped. He, he's the National League save leader. LeMayhew, though, not surprisingly, hits lefties much better than righties. The 1 0 to hate from Hater is off the plate, 2 0. So a little wild here to start the at bat. Yankees need base runners. The 2 0, swing and a miss on a fastball, 2 1. Just a little late on it. And it'll be a 2-1 to LeMayhew. Inside, 3-1. Cabrera on deck. The 3-1 to DJ. Chopped to the right side and threw for a base hit. Took a hanging changeup. Went the other way with it. So a leadoff single for LeMayhew. And, well, you got to start somewhere. That brings up Cabrera, his 10-game hitting streak on the line. 0 for 3 today, a fly out the center, a pop-up to the catcher, and a ground out. And he rolls this one foul, 0 and 1. The 0-1 to the Oz man. Rolls that one foul, 0 and 2, just out in front on that slider. Or actually a hair late, according to the timing. And actually, it's 11-game hitting streak, my apologies. 11-game hitting streak on the line. The 0-2 off the plate, 1-2. and two. Cabrera, a switch hitter, batting from the right side for the first time today. The 1-2. Oh, way inside, 2-2 two and two as Cabrera jackknifes out of the way. What's up, John? How's it going? The 2-2 two -two to Cabrera. Swing and a miss out in front on that slider, one away. When you get 102 on the fastball and 84 on the slider, it is hard to get that timing right. And it was a strike. That brings up Jose Trevino. Jose is a double play candidate and actually does not hit lefties as well, very well as he hammers this to the left on the left field line foul, 0 and 1. LeMayhew off of first. Yankees down by three. Bottom nine, one out. The 0-1 is high, one and one. The 1-1. Swing and a miss. Fastball at 99, one and two. The 1-2 to Trevino. He is off the plate. Count now two and two. It'll be a 2-2 to Jose. Chopped foul again. Stays alive. Again, that's a good, that was a good slider. That would have been a strike on the inside corner. Jose spoils it. What's on what's going on, Christian? How you doing? The 2-2. Smacked. That's a base hit the right field just by Cronenworth. So the Yankees now have the tying run at the plate. And it's Anthony Volpe, actually one of our worst hitters with runners in scoring position, but he's two for three today with a double, a single, a run score. Can Volpe break his streak with runners in scoring position here? Two on, one out, bottom nine, down by three against one of the premier closers in the game. Oh, out in front of, that was the pitch to hit. Hung a slider and he was out in front of it, oh and one. Volpe was coming out of his cleats to crush it. The 0-1. And now he chases another slider, 0-2. The 0-2 to the Rook. Popped up to right, stays alive as it slices foul and reaches the seats. The 17,000 who appeared here in the Bronx got a good one today. Yankees down by three, but the tying run at the plate in Volpe. The 0-2. Another foul ball as he spoils a change up there. Again, early. Also, Hater's thrown a lot of pitches this inning. You wonder about his availability for the next game. The 0-2. Swing and a miss on a change in the dirt. Strike three, two away. Volpe's struggles with runners in scoring position continues. 
And now it's down to Harrison Bader. One for four with a single and a stolen base and an RBI. The last hope for the Yankees. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup 0-1. Two on, two outs, down by three. Bader the tying run at the plate. The 0-1. Chopped up the middle. Bogarts is there and he goes the short way. Xander Bogarts had to go full extension on his range. Gets the slow roller and they get the win here in New York as the Padres win 6-3. They had the tying run at the plate. That's all you could ask. Twice, actually, and it's all you could ask for. Hader picks up his 22nd save of the year. Lugo improves the 2-3. and three. Peralta drops the 1-1. One and one. I really thought that might have found the outfield grass, but Xander Bogarts shows why he's one of the best shortstops in baseball. And if Bader had reached, well, Peraza would have been up. Soto, your player of the game, the back-breaking two-run home run, also had a single. Seth Lugo, one and two-thirds shutout innings, got out of that big jam in the sixth. Peralta gives up his first runs of the year, gives up three runs in one inning, one walk, one strikeout. And again, Hader works out of a big jam in the ninth to get the W for San Diego. So that's the first game of the night. We'll do a second one now. We'll so we lose 6-3. San Diego improves to 13 and or 33 and 18. Excuse me. We drop to 43 and 10. And well, we're now two and two in our last four. Win a game, lose a game, win a game, lose a game. Um, and now it'll be Nestor Cortez versus Blake Snell. Ooh, that should be a good one. Nestor has not been particularly sharp lately. I don't know why I get these exclamation points all the time. Anyway, so let's save the game and then we will uh, play another. You know, all's quiet on the TikTok front, mostly, except for Christian. Christian, thank you so much for all these likes, Christian. So appreciated, seriously. Um, but, I mean, and we're fine, obviously. We're, we're 43 and 10. But lefty versus lefty, Snell and Cortez... So Darvish gets another no decision, as does Severino. And everybody out of the bullpen except for Wandy still available. And obviously, Wandy's had such a good year that even that one bad inning, his ERA is only 147. So Nestor will get the start. Let's see. We got a couple of uh gonna make some substitutions here. Even though Snell's the lefty, and this is our anti-lefty lineup. Um, got a lot of guys who could use days off. Trying to think how best to do that. <laughs> Short and infielder. <laughs> Could really use somebody to give LeMayhew a day off. Um, let's see. We're going to put Mateo at third, who we got for Aaron Hicks in a trade. Uh, Bader, Judge, Stanton. Voight will start at first uh, against the lefty Snell. Dominguez will play. In left and bat ninth. Volpe will bat eighth. Uh, you know what the thing is? Is that sometimes for uh, sometimes I do I I like Melendez and his lefty bat. But um, funny thing is, is in the game, Trevino actually has several better numbers, and obviously he's a better fielder. I also like Melendez's flexibility because I can put him in the corner outfields, right? It's a, shame, it's a shame that he also doesn't play um, second base right now. I'm trying to think if there's... Because Mateo's fun, one of those guys who can play all over the infield and outfield. Really want to give DJ a day off. Um, 
Might be Peraza's. Uh, maybe give DJ a day off and let Peraza hit. And then give Peraza the day off tomorrow. Or you know what? Just keep DJ in there and then give him. Because eh, I don't want I don't want anybody to get hurt. DJ's the better hitter. We're gonna give D D DJ will start at second and we'll play to, and we'll give him a day off tomorrow. So Mateo at third, Bader in center, then Judge, Stanton, Voigt, Lemayhu, Trevino, Volpe, and then Dominguez. And then the next game, which we'll do tomorrow, uh, Mateo will start for Lemay uh, for Lemayhu and give him a day off. So. Okay, the game says I have to replace LeMayhew. <laughs> okay, uh, well, maybe maybe Cabrera. Uh, and then at that point, I'll let Ozzy Cabrera play third. Yeah, Cabrera definitely gets a day off tomorrow, though. So, and he's been good for me, Christian. He's been good. So... Cabrera will play third. Actually, he's played a third a few times this year and has done really well for me. So the Padres on a 10-game winning streak. Well, that's probably part of the reason why they've been just they are just red hot right now. See if we can't end that 10-game winning streak. Nestor Cortez, 7-3 and three in 10 starts, a 294 ERA, a whip under one. And about a, a little more than a 6-to-1 strikeout to walk ratio in 67 and a third inning pitched. And Xander Bogarts, 9 home runs, 28 RBI, a 242 average, will lead off here on a beautiful day in the Bronx. There's a strike on one. And we are underway. As that's off the plate, 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one, one to Bogarts. Fouled back out of play. One and two. Obviously, the Yankee pitching staff, for the most part, very familiar with it. Well, he might need a break, Ryan. Maybe that's part of me. He might need a break. That happens. Ooh, backdoor slider just missed the edge. Two and two. And this one hammered the right center field. That's going to be a base hit. It's going to split the outfielders and go to the wall. Bogarts will have himself a leadoff double. Here to get things started for the Padres in the top of the first. Bogarts his 15th double of the year. And that brings up Jake Cronenworth hitting 271. And he takes a strike in the outside edge. 0 1. Six home runs, 20 RBI. Had an 0 for yesterday. Swing and a miss there, 0 and 2. Although they did have a sack fly RBI, if I remember correctly. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. So Nestor gets a huge strikeout there, and now that brings up Juan Soto, who had a monstrous game in the Bronx yesterday with two hits and a two-run home run. Takes a strike here, 0-1. Soto, that was, his again, his 10th of the year. Takes a strike here, 0-2. Former batting champion, World Series champion. Check swing goes around, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Cortez. Two away here in the first. And now that brings up Manny Machado. Machado hitting 352. Takes a pitch off the plate. 1-0. and His nasty nests are going to have to work his way through this lineup here. Full of righty, dangerous righties. As there's a strike. 1-1. One and one. Now swinging a miss on the low fastball. 1-2. and two. And the 1-2. Hung a slider by Cabrera. That's a base hit. Dominguez has a decent arm. The throw is... In time, Jason Dominguez guns down Bogarts to end the top of the first. Oh, an absolute missile from left. The rookie with the outfield assist. And that is how the top half of the first comes to an end. A sparkling play. A perfect tag by Jose. And we go bottom one still scoreless. What a throw by Dominguez. And now Blake Snell, his 11th start of the year, a 5-2 record coming into today, a 3-1-9 ERA, a 1-2-3 whip, and about a almost a 3-1 strikeout to walk ratio. Because we didn't get the box score because of all the action that inning. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Why, why is the game double tapping? Why is my controller freaking out right now? 
this happens. For those of you who are familiar, for what I, I dropped my controller several times, and, and now, for whatever reason, sometimes it just decides to act up, and it only really acts up during MLB The Show. <laughs> there we go. Anyway. Uh, Bogarts is at short, Cronenworth at first, Soto in left, Machado at third, Nelson Cruz in right today, Carpenter at DH, Nola behind the plate, Kim at second, and Grisham back is in center field. So, the only real change is Nelson Cruz is in the starting lineup. Jorge Mateo leading off hitting 229, starting at second base today for DJ LeMahieu. Even though in limited play time, Mateo, again acquired at the beginning of the season for Aaron Hicks from Baltimore... Leads the league in steals. When he's on, he's running. Swing and a miss, oh, a one and one. Snell is a fastball, slider, curveball, changeup pitcher. Hits 98 on the gun. Of course, Yankees familiar with some of these Yankees familiar with Snell from his Tampa Bay days. As that misses inside, two and one. It'll be a two one now to Mateo. Chopped to first. Cronenworth there takes it himself. One away. Well, now look at the Yankees starting on it. We just saw Mateo. He's followed by Bader, Judge, Stanton, Voigt, Cabrera in at third today. Trevino behind the plate. Volpe at short. And Jason Dominguez already worth his weight in gold being in the lineup today. A perfect throw from left to cut down a run. Batting ninth. Bader, 11 home runs, 37 RBI, a 293 average. Second in the American League behind Mateo with 19 steals. First pitch from Snell. Funny enough, Bader has reverse splits. He hits righties better than lefties. Machado fires the first two away on a quick ground ball out. And now that brings up Aaron Judge on an eight-game hitting streak, a 406 average, 28 home runs, 55 RBI, having just an absolute monstrous season defending, trying to defend his MVP title, and takes a pitch high, 1-0. Former Hank Aaron award winner, some silver sluggers in there. The 1-0, swing and a miss on a fastball, 1-1. One one. In my opinion, he should have a gold glove by now, but the 1-1 one one is low and in the dirt, 2-1. and one. And now a 2-1 to judge. Swing and a miss late on a fastball at 98, 2-2. Two and two. Only the 10th pitch now for Snell. The 2-2 two -two is inside. The count is full. Stanton on deck. Had himself a big day yesterday in a losing effort. The 3-2. Inside ball four. So Judge walks. And that'll bring up Stanton hitting 394 with 19 homers and 44 RBI. That walk goes out to everybody who says I never take a pitch. And Stanton rolls a changeup foul 0-1. Stanton now with 397 career home runs. Three away from 400. The 0-1 to Big G. Up and in. Oh, it gets by Nola. Judge not going anywhere. Didn't get far enough away from him. And the count goes 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One one. Stanton late on a fastball. 1-2. and two. Judge average speed off of first. The 1-2. Oh, a backdoor curveball kisses the corner. Called strike three. Stanton down looking. So Yankees leave a man on. Neither team scores in the first. We go top two here in the Bronx. Nelson Cruz, 263 average, six home runs, 25 RBI. He will lead off against Nestor Cortez. And the first pitch is off the plate, 1-0. And the 1-0 now to Nestor. Is, or from Nestor, excuse me, is low, 2-0. To Nelson. Nestor to Nelson. The 2-0. Inside 3-0. Matt Carpenter on deck. And the 3-0 is a strike right down the middle. 3-1. And, and now the 3-1 is a strike on the inside edge. 3-2. and two. Oh, called ball four. That was a 50-50 pitch on the inside corner. But Cruz draws the walk. And now that brings up Matt Carpenter. And Carpenter rips one foul, 0-1. Nestor got away with a mistake there. The 0-1. This one skied the right center. Judge got a bit of a late jump. But he'll get there for the first out of the inning. Cruz retreats back to second. Or first, excuse me. And Judge will fire into second, one away. 
Big loss. Thank you for the follow. Austin Nola now, 265 average, three home runs, 18 RBI. Takes a strike, 0 and 1. You see there, most of the Yankee rotation in the league leaders with wins, led by Garrett Cole. That's what happens when you're 43 and 10. That's off the plate, 1 and 1. Oh, and he plunks Nola, a cutter that just kept on cutting. No intent there, but suddenly another jam for Nestor. Two on, one out, and Kim fouls the first pitch off 0-1. Oh and now chops a changeup foul, 0-2. Oh and, and fouls off a slider, still 0-2. Oh and, and another foul ball. Nestor trying to get... Uh, a strikeout here. Ground ball would be nice also. Is this one ripped the left field? This one is going to be over the head of Dominguez. One hop against the wall. One run will score. They'll hold Nola at third. It's 1-0 Padres as Kim kills the Yankees again. His seventh double of the year. And it's 1-0 San Diego. And now steps up to the plate. Trent Grisham hitting a buck 51. Rolls it foul. 0-1. So, foul ball, foul ball, foul ball, and Kim got a pitch he could hit. Is this a grounded to Cabrera? Checks the runners, fires the first two away. Huge out there for Cortez, as that now brings up, again, the ever-dangerous Xander Bogarts, who takes a strike at the knees, 0-1. Now that's in the dirt, 1-1. One and, one. and that's off the plate, 2-1. That's low, three and one. Cronenworth on deck. And the three one is cold. Ball four, a 50 50 pitch. Already the second walk of the day for Nestor. And that brings up Cronenworth. And the bases are loaded. Nestor not sharp today, at least early on. There's a strike, 0 and 1. That's off the plate, 1 and 1. The 1-1, one, one. chopped foul, 1 and 2. Nestor a strike away from getting out of a bases loaded jam. The 1-2, swing and a miss, got him on the slider. The Padres do put on a run, put up a run as Kim delivers the RBI double. But the Yankees get out of further, a further jam, a, a further trouble, I should say. Excuse me. And we go bottom two down by one. Luke Voigt, nine home runs, 20 RBI, a 290 average. We'll lead off here in the bottom of the second. And Voigt swings through a fastball, 0 oh and 1. Padres have a stacked lineup. And just giving Nestor all kinds of trouble. But Luke Voigt says, don't worry, we'll pull even real fast. Goodbye, baseball. year RBI 21 a leadoff home run here in the bottom of the second and just like that it's 1-1 as fast as it was 0-0 wow what a shot by Voigt an absolute missile he got a hanging curveball and crushed it again this is why the big fella starts against lefties to for swings like this so that brings up Oswaldo Cabrera had his hitting streak snapped in yesterday's game at 11. Swings and misses on a fastball there, 0-1. 12 home runs, 25 RBI for Cabrera. Thank you for the shares, Ben. And Cabrera pops this one up. Shallow left center. Grisham is there, makes the catch, one away. And now Jose Trevino, he had a base hit in the ninth yesterday. The rally that fell short for the Yankees. 271 average, four home runs, 13 RBI. Check swing, borderline pitch, called a strike anyway, 0 and 1. Thank you. Is, uh, ooh, that's called a ball. That was a better pitch than the first one, 1 and 1. The 1 1 off the plate, 2 and 1. The 2-1 to Jose. Inside, 3-1. Trevino's not the guy you really want to walk. 
with the way he's been swinging the bat lately, the 3 1 foul back out of play, 3 and 2 now. Snell trying to jam him up and in. And this one sliced on the right field line. This will be caught. Oh, run down out there by Nelson Cruz. Haven't said that in forever. Doesn't have the wheels he did as a younger man, but he finds a way to get to that one, two away. Anthony Volpe now, 327, 13 home runs, 20 RBI. Had two hits in yesterday's game, but struck out as the tying run in the ninth. Swings and misses on a fastball here, 0-1. Just a little out in front. Snell took a little something off that fastball. And now that misses outside. One and one. It'll be a one-one to Volpe. Pop foul and out of play. One and two. So Kim with an RBI double in the top of the second. Luke Voigt, a solo home run in the bottom half. And that's the scoring as Volpe gets a hold of one to deep left field. Soto going back. It's off the top of the wall. Volpe just missed a home run. Instead, he'll have himself a double. His seventh of the year and the second in as many games. Just off the end of the bat. And this one hits off the Bowman sign on top of the scoreboard. Wind is carrying to left today. If it was carrying a little more, that would have gone, but gone out of the park. As Dominguez swings through a fastball, 0-1. Dominguez, five home runs, 19 RBI, a 286 average. Made that stellar play in the first inning. The gun Bogarts down at first. And that's a base hit to right. Cruz will cut it off and hold Dominguez to a single. But Volpe will score. It's an RBI single for the rookie. One rookie plates another. It's 2-1 New York. Dominguez is 20th RBI of the year. As the Yankees answer right back with a pair of runs of their own in the second. Dominguez just pool cues it down the right field line. And now Jorge Mateo up at the plate as the Yankees look for more in the second. Mateo fouls off a fastball 0-1. So just like yesterday, Volpe had a two-out double. And then Bader was the one who had the single. Today, he has the two-out double and Dominguez has the single. As Mateo will pop this up to shallow right. Kim goes back and makes the catch and that will end the inning. But the Yankees played a pair. A returning hero in Luke Voigt with a home run. And then a couple of rookies with back-to-back -back hits. We go top three. Yankees up 2-1. Juan Soto struck out in his first at-bat. And he's going to line this to left field. That's going to be a leadoff base hit. So Dominguez has a big RBI single. He threw out a runner at home already. And now that brings up Machado, who was the one who singled and then... To, uh, to left and Dominguez then fired a missile home to throw out Bogarts as that's off the plate 2-0 and oh. and 3-0 and oh. Nestor really struggling here as Machado gets the green light and fouls it off 3-1 and one. and now fouls off another 3-2 so the payoff pitch here to Machado is outside ball four. Nestor Cortez had nine walks the entire year. He has three today coming into this game. He had nine. Nelson Cruz was one of those walks. So two on, nobody out here to start the inning. And Cruz is going to serve this to left field or right field, a base hit. They're going to hold the runner at third as Judge has a cannon. And it's another bases loaded jam for the Cortez. And you hate to do it, but Michael King already starting to warm here. That's how rough Nestor's start has been today. As this one popped up the center field. Bader has a good arm. Trying to get behind it. Makes the catch. The throw home. Here it comes. It is not in time. Soto just got there. A slower runner would have been gunned down. But it's an RBI sack fly for Carpenter, and we're tied at two. Austin Nolan now, who was hit by a pitch in his first at bat, takes a strike 0 and 1. And now this one is going to be a base hit up the middle. 
Bader's gonna come up firing. They're gonna send the runner home. And again, it's not in time. It's 3-2 San Diego. Now they're gonna talk to Nestor. And honestly, that's gonna be it. Nestor's gonna get yanked here in the third. Just doesn't have it. The shortest outing for any Yankee starter. Cortez goes two and a third, gives up three. The runner's on base, his responsibility. Michael King coming on to try to be a hero. His 15th appearance of the year. Try and eat some innings, an ERA just over one, a two and one record. Kim one for one with an RBI double. As that misses inside one and oh. Trying to limit the damage here. And that's inside two and oh. That's off the plate three and oh. And suddenly, no Yankee pitcher can throw a strike. There's one on the inside corner three and one. A generous call from the umpire. As that's ball four. King, it's only his third walk of the year. What's going on with the Yankee pitchers today? As Trent Grisham takes a strike 0-1. And, and now this grounded to Cabrera. Oh, what a play. Oh, he threw it away. Cabrera threw it away. They're going to send the runners home. It's going to be 5-2 New York. Oh, a terrible error there by Cabrera. He went to second and he threw it into right field. He made the amazing play to stop it. There's a strike to Bogarts, 0-1, and the Yankees, the wheels are coming off the cart here. They haven't lost a series the whole year. Strike three called on Bogarts. He can't believe it. That was two inches above his belt, but two away, and now that brings up Cronenworth. It was the only guy Nestor didn't have a problem with. There's a strike 0 and 1. That's outside 1 and 1. That's outside 2 and 1. King really struggling here as much as Nestor was. It just for whatever reason, our timing is entirely off today. Ball 4, bases reloaded for the Padres, and that brings up Juan Soto. The Padres have batted around. As he pops this foul, 0-1. So after going 43-9, these could be two of the worst Yankee losses. Cabrera there, he'll go to first. That will end the inning. But the Padres score four. All five of those runs charged to Nestor Cortez, his worst start of the year. The worst start for any Yankee starter. And I'm just curious because I'm curious. What's going on with the controller again? I'm curious to see if those runs were all earned. So four of the five were earned because of the uh, error by Cabrera, his third error of the year. Um, Cortez's ERA bloats to 3-3-6. But what a shame. That really could have ended the inning and gotten out of it down only 3-2. Instead, we're down 5-2. Harrison Bader 0-for-1 leads off. Skies went on the right field line 0-1. And, and Blake Snell now got some room to work with. The 0-1, fouled off at the plate by Bader, 0-2. So King, I mean, not his best outing. It gives up the all the inherited runners score. Is that misses high, 1-2. and two. But he does eventually get out of it. It'll be a 1-2 to Bader. Hammer to left field, and that's one way to get a run back. Goodbye, baseball! A hanging curveball, and Darth Bader gets his 12th of the year, RBI 38, and it's a 5-3 San Diego lead. So Snell hangs another curveball, and now that brings up Aaron Judge, who walked in his first at-bat. Swings to a changeup here, 0-1. The 0-1 to Judge is way high, 1-1. One one. Almost like Snell wants nothing to do with him. 40th pitch of the day for Snell. The 1-1 one one is low, 2-1. Oh, no. oh, 
The 2-1. Fouled back out of play just a little late on it. That was the pitch to hit. 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, Jolt. It's like the real life Yankees. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Strike three at the knees. One away. And that brings up Stanton now who's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Chases a high fastball, 0 and 1. Still a lot of time left in this game, but the Yankee bullpen's going to have to do some work because that's swung and missed 0 and 2. Nestor goes 2 and a third, gives up 5, only 4 of which were earned. Because that's outside the Stanton, 1 and 2. And the 1-2, chopped to the right side, Cronenworth is there, takes it himself, two away. And now Luke Voigt hit a solo home run in his first at-bat. I'd love to do that again. Oh, and he was almost did, it was just out in front as he pulls that fastball foul, 0-1. Snell took a little something off of it, the 0-1, and Voigt's gonna pop it up to deep center. Grisham back again. The wind carrying out today. He'll make the catch just shy of the track in left center, and that'll end the inning. But Harrison Bader, a leadoff home run. We go top four. Yankees down by two. Manny Machado, a walk, a single, a run scored. He'll now face Michael King in his second inning of work. Takes a strike at the belt, 0-1. Swing and a miss on a change, 0-2. And the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Got him on the slider. One away. That'll bring up Nelson Cruz. One for one. A single, a walk, two runs scored. Swings to a fastball at 97-0-1. And now chops this one to Mateo at second. He'll fire to first. Two away. Matt Carpenter, 0 for 1 with a sack fly RBI, his 19th RBI of the year. Swings to a fastball here, 0 and 1. Check swing, did not go. Ben, thank you for the share. It'll be a 1 1 now to Carpenter. Chops it foul, 1 and 2. So the Padres, the best team in the National League, the Yankees, the best team in baseball. Yankees trying to even this series at one after blowing the first game as Volpe from the backhand. Nice play there by the Rook to Rob Carpenter. We go bottom four as King puts up a zero. And look at the Burger King, Taco Bell, Panda Express. Somebody sponsored me, Fan Cam. Down by two. Ozzy Cabrera 0 for 1. He's 0 for 5 in the series. He'll get a day off tomorrow. Made a terrible error that led to several runs. Now trying to get some back. Serves this to right center field. That's going to be a base hit. And it's one hop against the wall. Nelson Cruz will fire in, but it's a leadoff double for Oswaldo Cabrera. That's Ozzy's seventh of the year. I agree, Christian King does need to be the closer in real life. Jose Trevino now 0 for 1. Had a nice at bat against Snell in his first AB. Uh, now takes a Ooh, called a strike 0 and 1. Ended up flying out to deep right. And the 0-1. Fouled off at the plate. 0-2. If you're Cruz, you're just trying to get that runner over to third. Plenty of time to scratch, scratch away at this lead. The 0-2. Stays alive as he fouls off a fastball. Still 0-2. Let's, let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. The 0-2. Trevino serves it to right. Cruz makes the catch. Cabrera tags, draws the throw. A perfect throw by Cruz, and Cabrera retreats. So Jose hit it well, but right at Nelson Cruz, and now that brings up Volpe, one for one, a double and a run scored. So they do not get the runner to third. As Anthony Volpe says, don't worry, Jose. He can walk home. Goodbye, baseball. Get the rookie a meatball sub as he crushes his 14th of the year to left field. Now has 22 RBI. And when he struck out as the tying run yesterday, he had to have that in the back of his mind today. He has tied the game at five with his 14th 
home run of the year. What a shot by Anthony Volpe. And we got a whole new ball game. It's a slugfest in the Bronx. 110 off the bat. 416 to left. Holy cow. And Jason Dominguez, the rookies go back to back. And belly to belly. The Martian hits one into orbit. His sixth of the year. Goodbye, baseball. 100 miles an hour off the bat. 406 to left. The Yankees have the lead, 6-5. to five. And Blake Snell getting rocked just like Nestor did. Holy cow! Everybody's getting meatballs tonight, baby! Jorge Mateo now 0 for 2. Pops this fastball foul and out of play 0-1. He just missed that. He was thinking about joining the home run derby, but Snell took something off that heater. 0-1. Oh, and Mateo sends one to deep left center field. Going back is Soto. It's one hop against the wall. Mateo just missed a home run of his own. Instead, it's a one-out double, his fourth of the year. And now that brings up Harrison Bader, one for two with a home run. And Bader skies one to deep right. Cruz back, still back at the track. Oh, and he puts it away against the youth development sign. Oh, goodness gracious, Bader just missed an oppo bomb. Mateo goes to third, two away. And that brings up Judge, 0 for one with a walk. Chance for the big fella. To pick up an RBI. Takes a pitch off the plate, 1 0. The Yankees have put up a three spot here in the fourth to retake the lead. Judge swings to a fastball there, 1 and 1. Snell now at 60 pitches. Neither starter has looked very good today. The 1 1 is high, 2 and 1. Both Nestor and Snell. Not living up to their numbers. Yeah, it's turning into Colorado, Christian, exactly. Three and one to judge. You know, if he walks again, it's not like you really want to face Stanton, who's also red hot right now. The three one. Off the plate, ball four. So judge gets his second walk of the day. Stanton now 0 for 2, a strikeout and a ground out. Two on, two out. Oh, and he just missed that curveball out in front, 0-1. Oh the 0-1. Oh, oh, and he missed that one again. It fouled off to the right side, 0-2. Oh Stanton starting to time that breaking ball a bit. But it's 0-2 oh now to the big fella. Whoa, way up and in, 1-2. and two, As he jackknifes out of the way. The 1 2 to Stanton. Fouled off at the plate again, still 1 and 2. Snell trying to drop that curve in there. The 1 2. Inside, 2 and 2. The 2 2. Off the plate, 3 and 2. That'll release Judge from first. So Judge will get a head start. 70th pitch of the day for Snell. Stanton pulls it to the left side. Machado there will fire to first. And that will end the inning. But the Yankees put up three. Two of which came off the bat of Anthony Volpe. A two-run bomb to left. And then Dominguez followed with a home run of his own to left. We go top five. Six five Yankees. Michael King still in there. Nola, one for one, hit by a pitch. Takes a strike, 0-1. Oh now takes a pitch low, 1-1. One one. Swing and a miss on a sinker, 1-2. and two. 
The one, two. Little dribbler in front of the plate. Trevino will field. Fires the first. Got him. One away. Not an easy play there for Jose, but he made it look easy. Kim now one for one. A double, an RBI, and a walk. Skies this to left center. Bader calls off Dominguez. He'll make the catch. Two away. And now Trent Grisham, one for two with an RBI single. Takes a strike, 0-1. It was his 10th RBI of the year. So he takes one off the plate, 1-1. One and, one. and now the 1-1, one, one, another strike, 1-2. and two. The 1-2 to Grisham. Backdoor slider, frozen, strike three. Michael King, two and two-thirds of shutout inning baseball. And Seth Lugo now comes in for the Padres. So Lugo, Snell goes four, gives up six. Cortez goes two and a third, gives up five, four earned. Lugo, two and three, a four, five, three ERA. Voight, one for two with a solo home run. King, no reason to push him any further. Jose Alvarado now starting to warm for the Yankees. Looks like he'll pitch the sixth. Just because of all the lefties due up. Hopefully he can... Uh, you know what? <laughs> uh, hmm. Problem, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll put it. We'll put him in. He'll face three hitters. That's it. He'll face three hitters, and no matter what happens, then Ron Marinaccio will come in. No matter what happens, Alvarado will face three. No matter what, it's Marinaccio after that. Voight one for two against uh, Snell with a solo home run. First pitch from Lugo is hammered foul out in front of it. 0 and one. Voight very close to three home runs today. Lugo fastball, curveball, slider, changeup. Hits 97 on the gun. The 0-1. Swing and a miss on a curve. 0-2. Bottom five. Yankees now up 6-5. The 0-2. And Voight fouls it straight back. Still 0-2. And the 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him on the curve, one away. As that brings up Oswaldo Cabrera, one for two, a double, a run scored. He was on when Volpe homered. And now rolls this foul, 0-1. The other big thing about that Volpe home run is it came with a runner in scoring position. That misses low one and one, which he has struggled with so much this year. Hitting 100 going into that at bat with runners in scoring position. Just looking for a hit, and he found a big fly. The 1-1. One, one. And Cabrera is going to get his second hit of the day. That's a base hit. Grisham will cut it off in center field, but Cabrera has a one-out single. And now that brings up Jose Trevino, the Yankee backstop, who flied out to right and then... Just missed a single to right. And chops this to the right side. Could be two. The second for one. On to first. Nice turn by Bogarts. 4-6-3. Inning ending double play. Kim to Bogarts to Cronenworth. I'm, I'm trying, TJ. Happy birthday, by the way, buddy. Alvarado making his 14th appearance of the year. A .68 ERA. Bogarts one for two. Misses outside. Does Alvarado one and one and zero? There's a strike in the outside edge. One and one. And now the one one. That's a fair ball off the third base bag. Dominguez will fire in and hold Bogarts to a single. Not how we wanted to start this inning off, but that brings up Cronenworth now, who's zero for two. Takes a pitch low, 1-0. Also has a walk, I believe. The 1-0. That's low, 2-0. And this one chopped 
Fair, foul ball, just foul, said the umpire, two and one. And now popped him up, got him on a cutter. Cabrera in foul ground down from third, makes the catch one away. Big out there for Jose, that brings up Juan Soto, now one for three with a single and a run scored. And he takes a strike, 0 and 1. And now chops this foul, 0 and 2. The 0 2 in the dirt, blocked by Trevino. Bogart's not going anywhere. And the 1 2, hammered towards left center field. Bader will not get there. Bogarts will hold at second. And now with Machado due up and two on and one out. We're not even going to wait. Marinaccio coming in. Ron Marinaccio, 19th appearance of the year. A 1-0 record, a 1-4-2 ERA. Machado, one for two. Hammers this to the left side. It's going to be a base hit. Dominguez has already thrown Bogarts out once today. Here's the throw home. It's all just offline. And it's a tie ball game. We are tied at six as Bogarts turned around on that one. And now Nelson Cruz late on a fastball. 0-1. So Alvarado could, did not get the job done. Swinging a miss there 0-2. And the Yankee lefties this whole series... Not able to get anybody out consistently. Now one and two to Cruz. As that's fouled back out of play, still one and two. Another foul ball off of Marinaccio. Check this swing, did he go? Yes, says the first base umpire. Two away, huge strikeout for Ron. And now that brings up Matt Carpenter, 0 for two with a sack fly. And he takes a strike, 0 and one. That's off the plate, one and one. Another quick strike, one and two. Swing and a miss, Marinaccio gets out of the jam. Huge strikeout, the tying run does score. That's charged to Alvarado, but it's now a 6-6 game going bottom six. Volpe two for two, a homer, a double, a pair of RBI, a pair of runs scored. Lugo's still in there. And we're going to leave Marinaccio out there for the seventh as that's a curveball that just misses 1-0. Volpe now three for his last six. A small sample size, but you'll love to see it. And the 1-0, skied to left. Fairly deep. Going back is Soto at the track. I almost thought he had another. The wind really carried that one, but Soto makes the catch on the track one away. Jason Dominguez now two for two, a homer and a single and two RBI. Volpe just got under that. And Dominguez fouls off a fastball, 0-1. Dominguez three for his last nine now, two for his last two. The 0-1 to Jason. Foul back out of play, 0-2. And now the 0-2. Whoa, way up and in. One and two. As Dominguez gets out of the way. The 1-2 to Jason. Up and out of the zone. Two and two. Good take there by the rookie. One out, no one on. 6-6, six, six, bottom six. Neither starter went more than four innings. As Dominguez is going to roll this to the left side, Bogarts will charge. Fire to first and just gets the speedy Jason Dominguez two away. And that brings up Jorge Mateo, one for three with a double. Stranded at third. And he takes a pitch down and in, one and oh. Mateo, three home runs, 12 RBI, giving DJ LeMayhew a day off. And the one oh. Swing and a miss, chases a slider that just kept sliding away from him, one and one. And the 
One one. Skyed the right. Deep but playable. Cruz is there. Makes the catch, and we go top seven as the Yankees go order here, go down in order in the sixth. Ron Marnaccio still in there for the seventh. Nola one for two, a single, an RBI, and a run scored. A lot of walks, a lot of free passes for the Padres today. He takes a strike 0 and 1. That backs him off the plate 1 and 1. Good. With that change up by Marinaccio. And now that's inside 2 and 1. And this one rolled foul out in front of it 2 and 2. And the 2 2. Slid to hit to Voigt. Voigt will field. Flip to Marinaccio. Covering 1 away. Uh, I just gave up Aaron Hicks, Terry, and like an A-ball prospect. That was it. Kim now one for two, a double and an RBI. Has been a Yankee killer this series. Takes a pitch in off the plate, one and oh. Oh, and he tries to bunt his way on and whiffed on it, one and one. Now fouls a fastball back out of play, one and two. So Padres took the first game of this series, 6-3. Swing and a miss, strike three, two away. Yankees had the tying run at the plate in the ninth, but couldn't get the job done. Trent Christian, one for three with a single and an RBI. There's a strike, 0 and 1. Today, Nestor Cortez knocked out in the third. Blake Snell knocked out after four in what has been a slugfest, but the bullpens have really settled things down as there's a backdoor slider for a strike, 1 and 2. Swing and a miss, full of fastball by him at 93. Get up and stretch. We're going bottom seven. Still tied at six. Of course, one of the Padres' runs was unearned. That error by Cabrera, a huge one. Harrison Bader, one for three with a solo home run. Scott Efrost now starting to warm for the Yankees. Looks like he will pitch the eighth. Lugo in there now for his third inning of work. And Bader chops this to the right side. Cronenworth there, takes himself one away. Bader late on that curve. Aaron Judge 0 for 1 with two walks. Walk, he walked, struck out, and then walked against Snell. And now fouls off a fastball against Lugo, 0 and 1. The 0 1 to Judge. Hammered up the middle, but and that's going to dunk in for a base hit. I didn't know if that was going to hang up there for Grisham, but it doesn't. So Judge picks up a single, extends his hitting streak. And that brings up Giancarlo Stanton, who's 0 for 3 today. He struck out, grounded out, or actually grounded out twice today and struck out. And now Stanton jammed. Humpback liner, shallow right center. Grisham will make the catch two away. And now that brings up Luke Voigt, one for three with a solo home run. First pitch to Luke. Swing and a miss over the top of a curve, 0 and 1. Now the 0 1 to Voigt. Back up the middle, and that's going to get through for a base hit. Judge thought about going first to third, but with two outs, he'll hold at second. And that will pass the baton to Oswaldo Cabrera, who's two for three today with a single and a double and a run score. That's inside one and oh. And with the ice cold Jose Trevino on deck, you wonder if they maybe pitch around Cabrera, who's been red hot. The one oh to the Osman. Nope, they didn't. They should have. Goodbye, baseball! A three-run second deck shot for Oswaldo Cabrera. His 13th of the year. He now has 28 RBI. And the Yankees have a 9-6 lead. What a shot by Cabrera. He just sat back and turned on that fastball. 109 off the bat. A laser beam into the second deck here at Yankee Stadium. Oh, what a shot for the switch hitter. 398 to right. And I said it, he's been red hot. He's now a triple shy of the cycle today. As in comes Steven Wilson with a 1-6-1 ERA and a 5-1 record out of the pen. Wilson 
fastball slider changeup pitcher. 98, he hits 98 on the gun. Trevino chases the slider 0 and 1. Jose 1 for 7 in the series thus far. Has not been hitting that well as of late. Rolls this to third. Machado there. Settles. Fires. Got him. Like I said, surprised they almost I'm almost surprised they didn't walk Cabrera and pitch to Trevino. We go top eight now. We got a whole new ball game. Yankees with a three-run lead as in comes Scott Efros for his 13th appearance of the year. Two saves and two opportunities, an 0-1 record and a .59 ERA. He will pitch the eighth and face the top of the lineup. Bogarts, two for three, a double, a single, one run scored. Tried to score a second, got thrown out at home by uh, Dominguez. Takes a strike here, 0-1. And now this one, a humpback liner to Voigt, makes the catch, one away. Jake Cronenworth 0 for 3. He's 0 for 6 in the series with a sack fly. Takes a pitch low, 1 and 0. Sellout crowd here in the Bronx. Is this chopped foul to the left side, 1 and 1. And now the 1 1. Chopped to the right side, Mateo charges, fields, flips the first, 2 away. Now Juan Soto, two for four with a pair of singles. He had a big two-run home run in yesterday's game. Takes a strike here, 0-1. Now that's off the plate, 1-1. One one. So yet one point, Yankees were down 5-2. They've now battled back and have a 9-6 lead. Be a 1-2 to Soto after that foul ball. Now another foul ball. Be another one, two. Hammered foul. I'm gonna call it a little too much too much of the plate. Still one and two though. And now this one, kind of a check swing back to the mound. Efros Fields fires the first. And the Padres go one, two, three. We go bottom eight. Yankees still up nine to six. Clay Holmes now warming. He looks, looks like he will come in and pitch the ninth should it still be a save situation. Otherwise, honestly, I'll keep Efros in there because that was a very easy inning for him. Volpe, two for three, a double and a two-run home run. Two runs scored. Swings to a high fastball, 0-1. Volpe hitting a very respectable 282 against righties. Hitting 467, though, against lefties. The 0-1 inside, 1-1. One one. Drew Pomeranz and Na Nabel Krismat warming in the pen for the Padres. That's a first. Haven't seen that name before. And again, I don't watch a lot of Padres baseball. The 1-1. One, one, hammered down the left field line. 1-2 and two as it slides foul. Volpe out in front on that slider. And now the 1-2 two, off the plate. 2-2. Two and two. It'll be a 2-2 two, two to Volpe. Smack to the left side. Machado there. Handles it on a short hop. Fires the first. One away. Now another hero in today's game, two for three with a homer, a single, and two RBI of his own, Jason Dominguez. Or at least he will be one of the heroes should we hold on. And he's gonna serve this one to shallow left center field. That's gonna dunk him for a base hit. So Dominguez will reach with a one out single. Look for him to try to maybe swipe second. He's got, I think, eight steals on the year. And he got a bad jump. The pitch is in the dirt. The throw down the second, though, not in time. He got away with it because that was a good pitch to run on. If that was the fastball, they might have got Dominguez. But he picks up the steal, gets himself in the scoring position. Mateo now one for four. He's popped out, grounded out, flied out, and doubled. Swings to a fastball here, one and one. Although he's only hitting 229 on the year, actually hitting almost 500 with runners in scoring position. Likes the pressure. The one, one. Sliced foul, one and two. And now the one, two. Skied the shallow center. Grisham is there. Dominguez goes back to tag, but he'll stay put. Two away now here in the bottom of the eighth. And that'll bring up Harrison Bader, who's one for four with a solo home run. Bader also very good with runners in scoring position. And the first pitch, swing and a miss on a fastball at the belt, 0-1. 
And now the 0-1. Hammer to left. He's done it again. Goodbye, baseball. Darth Bader. His happy Star Wars day, everybody. It's his second of the day, his 13th of the year. It's now 11-6 Yankees. Goodbye, baseball. What a shot by Bader. He now has 40 RBI on the year. 436 to left. 108 off the bat. And Holmes will sit down now with the five-run lead. Yankees got their insurance. As Aaron Judge, one for two with a strikeout, two walks and a single. Takes a pitch up and in, 1-0. and oh. So Wilson, who had a 1-6-1 ERA, gives up a two-run home run. That's not going to help that any. And the 1-0, swing and a miss on a slider, 1-1. One one. So what have we learned today? I can't put any lefty against the Padres, <laughs> any lefty pitcher, as I've given up all nine runs to lefties in this series. That sky to center field, Grisham makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. Harrison Bader, though, a two-run shot to left. We go top nine. Yankees trying to close it out. Machado will be the four, five, six hitters, two for three, with two singles and RBI run scored. F. Ross still in there, looking for the two-inning save. As this one ripped to left center field and deep, Dominguez going back. Can't make the catch. It's over his head and against the wall. Bader will fire in, but it's a leadoff double for Machado. His 18th of the year. And Clay Holmes is going to start warming again. <laughs> Nelson Cruz, one for three with a single. Takes a pitch just inside, one and oh. Got greedy. Tried to save the other, you know, another bullpen arm as this chop foul, one and one. And that's inside, two and one. Swing and a miss on a slider, two and two. Good pitch there from Efros. And now the two, two. Chopped right back to him. He'll check the runner, fire to first, one away. Matt Carpenter now 0 for 3. Struck out in his last at bat. 1 for 7 in the series with an RBI sack fly as that's off the plate 1 and 0. This one ripped right at Volpe. He'll check the runner. Fire to first. Two away. So Padres down to their last out now. Austin Nola 1 for 3. Single RBI run score. Check swing, but it's a strike at the belt. 0 and 1. And on a day that Nestor Cortez just did not have it, he'll end up with a no decision. There's a strike 0 and 2. Efros. Actually, Efros, I just realized, would not get the save because Efros is going to get the. Oh, no, that's actually not true. My apologies. My apologies. Um, Marinaccio will get the win. Efros will get the save. As this one served to right, Judge is there, makes the catch. The Yankees come back and win 11 to 6. And we are now even in this three game series, 1 to 1. The Yankee Bats showed up today. It was an it was home run derby in the Bronx. Marinaccio improves the 2 and 0. Lugo drops the 2 and 4. F Ross gets his third save of the year. Just a phenomenal day. Dominguez had a home run, two RBI, threw a runner out at the plate. Bader two home runs. Cabrera a home run. Everybody going yard. Voigt had a home run. Volpe had a home run. Bader, though, two homers, three RBI, your player of the game. Marinaccio, one and two-thirds innings pitched, one hit, four strikeouts. Lugo, two and two-thirds innings pitched, four hits, one strikeout, three runs. And Efros gave up only one hit and two innings of relief to get his third save of the year. What's up, Seamus? How's it going? Yeah, Aiden, we definitely need this kind of offense, 100%. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, all right, so we lost the first game 6-3. to three. We won the second game 11-6. to six. Again, important thing that we have learned, do not...
pitch a lefty against the Padres. That lineup kills lefties. Yankees improved to 44 and 10. That also snaps the Padres' 10 game winning streak. They're now 33 and 19. Rubber game will be tomorrow. Well, good for you, Seamus. Kyle Wright versus Michael Waka. Waka, Waka, Waka. Another pitcher I usually struggle against in the game, but. All right, we'll set our scouting assignments because that's what we have to do, I guess. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Um, all right, so everybody, thank you so much for tuning in again. That's it for today's stream. We started very early because I'm going to see... Um, I'm going to go dinner now with my friends. And we're going to go see Guardians of the Galaxy. It should be a good time. Super excited. So sorry if you're just joining us. I apologize. Please go back and watch the VOD on Twitch. Um, but I appreciate everybody who hung out. I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Uh, back to a more normal time tomorrow. Um, but until then, take care, everybody. And I will see you uh, tomorrow for probably some more baseball. We might do Star Wars. I don't know. We'll see what people want. But we'll see. Thank you, everybody. New followers. Everybody who hung out, I really appreciate it. Take care, everybody.